Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be sharing the best audio settings for XSplit in 2018. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to stream gameplay quickly and easily, I highly suggest getting XSplit. Now, I used to use OBS and OBS, to be honest, it's a little bit of a pain to deal with, to set up, to get the settings that you want. But XSplit is incredibly easy to resize images, to change settings, to basically get things how you want them to be. So go to growonyoutube.com forward slash XSplit ASAP to go and download XSplit. You can also use my discount code JCarterAy to get 10% off so do yourself a favor go get xsplit today jump start your streaming career go to growonyoutube.com forward slash xsplit use code jcarteray for 10 percent off yo what's going on i'm jcarteray from growonyoutube.com teaching you how to be better and this was actually a comment on one of my videos but for some reason i didn't take a screenshot so i'm sorry about that whoever asked this question but it's gonna be i can't really give you a straightforward answer as you know this is the best setting have it here have it there i can i'm gonna give you some general parameters that you can work with and then i'm gonna show you how to basically test um how to test your audio settings to make it the best thing for you because there are a lot of variables that come with this for example the mic you're using is a big variable i'm using the rode nt1a if you want to know all the the equipment that i use there's a link in the description that will bring you to that but this mic is different from the blue yeti or the blue snowball or you know whatever other mic you may be using and it also depends on what game you're playing does that game have background music what level is that background music at you you rarely need to basically fiddle with all these sliders in you know the game and also in xsplit but i'm going to show you like the basics of what i basically do in xsplit so when we come to xsplit let's just make this a little bit little little bit bigger i don't know why i haven't full screen that my bad so here we are in xsplit and basically we'll come over here to this cog right about here which says open audio settings and what i generally do actually before we even get to that we won't even get to that yet what i generally would suggest is have your mic audio at a hundred and have the what's it called the system audio uh maybe two bars down minimum i'd usually have it there and then you can basically mi mix around with that after you've actually listened back and heard what it sounds like and if you bring it to like 50 then you should be cool you should generally be cool no matter what game you're playing unless it's really really loud but you really want to test you want to test this stuff you can't just think okay i'll put this set in and it's going to be great you also want to ask the, your viewers if they can hear what's going on and you really just want to keep on tweaking it until it's perfect but basically you just want to be able to hear your voice over the gameplay you want to hear a bit of gameplay you want to hear a bit of the background noise and whatnot but you want to hear your voice most of all that needs to be the main character so you want your mic to be as loud as possible now let's go into audio settings i'm going to show you the basic quickest way to hear your audio but let's go through the microphone settings if you're using a mono mic like you've got a real mic was it it's what is this thing audio interface if you are audio interface and you're not using a usb mic this is a usb audio interface but the mic's actually not a usb mic then you're probably you probably have mono audio so i've had to copy my audio from left to right and I guess that depends on your mic. Your mic may go from right to left. And I've got audio mixing sample rate on all Mac. I could put that to 48 kilohertz, but actually let's put that to 48 kilohertz. Uh, 44.1, let's just have that there. Uh, system sound is basically where you're getting the system sound from. Audio preview sound is, based, well, audio preview is where you're going to hear your audio preview from. Now, 
after like when you're started streaming when you're ready to start streaming you want to get rid of this audio preview you don't want it to be any audio preview especially if you're streaming your system sound because i think the audio preview will get caught in your system sound i'm not 100 sure but i just wouldn't risk it so you can set system sound to like default speakers i don't know what you guys are using you probably set this to the game if that's an option but for audio preview, this is really important. Usually it'll be at none. But when you are ready to test out your, like how it sounds, how the mic sounds, how the gameplay sounds, then you want to do an audio preview. I will do it through my headphones. As you can see, my headphones are connected. All I need to do is pop them on and then I'll be able to hear my voice and hear how loud it is. If I was using XSplit at this time, but I'm currently using Camtasia to record this video. So it probably won't come through XSplit. Let me quickly check testing testing wow it is coming through so you can use the mic on multiple things i didn't actually know that so basically i can hear how loud my voice is and if i had a game in the background then i'd be able to hear how loud that was and i'd be able to adjust accordingly using the audio preview so i highly suggest you utilize the audio preview and basically move around the system sound and and all that sort of stuff you could move the volume range down so if you wanted the volume range to just be at 80 for the system sound oh no you can't put it at 80 can you put it up i've actually never messed with the volume range it seems like you can make the volume even louder but i honestly wouldn't suggest that i wouldn't go around doing that i don't think that is the best thing to to be doing because you may end up with a lot of clipping and a lot of distortion and that won't be great so basically this is basically done like there are some other things that you can do to audio so here we have our audio and we can put audio output no we can't really do much you can't do anything you can't really edit the audio in x split you can't change yeah you can't put a what's it called a uh, compressor on or anything like that so you're pretty limited in what you're doing um with audio wise so you really just gotta get the mixing down you gotta get the mix into where it needs to be and you'll do that through audio preview now if you don't want to do that or you don't have headphones and you want to take the long way the long way to do that is to just do a recording so go to record go to local recording record your gameplay like do testing testing one two one two with the gameplay in the background so you can hear the differences maybe go and um play the game a little bit go through it if you're playing an online multiplayer game let's say you're playing rainbow six have a like go and shoot stuff so you can hear how loud the gun is compared to your voice and see if the gun is is basically swallowing your voice you want your voice to be at the top of everything you want people in the stream to hear what you've got to say at all points because they can go watch gameplay anywhere they can watch gameplay from any person you and your commentary is really the usp that's the unique selling point that's what's going to keep people around and keep people watching your streams so that is really really important but yeah i would just say have this at 100 have your voice volume mic volume at 100 have the system volume at like 50 and then you can just test around from there you can slide the system volume up if you want and slide it down but just make sure that your voice is really really coming through it doesn't seem like there's any eqing options or anything in xsplit um i am an audio engineer so i do know a little bit about eqing and and compression and that sort of stuff but it doesn't seem like it's necessary in this vid because there's not a lot of options here there is another audio program which will allow you to edit your audio but i don't think we're going to get into that today if you'd like me to get into that at a later date and show you this other program i think it's like banana sound or something like that some sort of banana thing that allows you to basically edit your input that comes into xsplit and that gives you a lot more control over your mic and your audio and will allow you to possibly put a compressor on it and do some eq in and that sort of stuff let me know if you guys want that leave a comment down below i hope this video gave you some general idea into how to 
basically get your audio correctly as i said before you know if you're recording it then you'd want to do a recording and then obviously stop the recording go back and watch it and see where you need to change it but just using the audio preview will be a whole lot quicker so i highly suggest you do that i hope you guys liked it i hope you got some information out of it i'm sorry there's not a one size fits all answer there isn't because there's a lot of variables going on but i hope that this gave you some insight don't do not have this off this is actually muted right about now do not do that when you're streaming like if anyone saw that and thought that's how it has to be do not do that make sure that people can hear the system sound as well otherwise it will just be your voice over nothing in the background and that just it's not very compelling compelling audio la audio soundscape so yeah if you got any tutorials or questions then leave those in the comment section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you in the next xsplit tutorial peace out if you want to learn how i got over 23,000 subscribers and millions of views on my youtube gaming channel then you are in luck sign up to this free course right now link will be in the card in the description and in the pinned comment or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k seo course in this course you will learn the best way to write your video titles tags and descriptions to help you rank on the first page of youtube it's simple when you know what to do i'll also show you a hack that will help you choose the right key phrases and help you create videos that can rank and get views no matter what game you play stop struggling to grow your youtube gaming channel and start doing what works Click on the link in the description or go to grownyoutube.com forward slash 20k SEO course. This course will not be up forever, so get in there as soon as possible. I hope to see you here soon and I wish you the best of luck on your journey of turning your passion into your career. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. So all this warmth I share with you